the issue? The seatbelt is <laughs> And I hate water rides. So what you do is you listen to the song and it tells you Welcome boys and girls to, to go up or down. Ride. Okay. A wonderful adventure where you won't And if you listen dry, to the uh, well other than that. But if you listen to it, supposedly you can get through it without getting wet. Alright, we'll see. I'm gonna try. My glasses are on. It's serious about it. For spray? Well, I don't have any glasses. Well, why did the hippogriff did that? The up and the down. Or a two fish. Yeah, so you gotta pay attention. If you're a two fish, it'll tell you what the two fish needs to do. Your fish ride is now beginning. Uh oh. Please remain seated and enjoy your swimming. Here we go. I'm very nervous. I don't wanna get stumped. That guy right there is gonna get her. That one over there. Go! Fly anywhere. If you go low, there are creatures there. Fish, blue fish, down, down, down. What happened? You got the camera soaked. Are you excited about this? No. Let's see. Oh, there's the high one. Now it's a guessing game. Guessing game, they said. Going up. Oh, but down low is getting the spray right now. Seem to be safe by that one. Was it that bad? You no, didn't die. I think I'm dry already. Exactly. Helen, buckle your belt.
tree I'm just sitting here I got time It's clear to see From up here The world seems small We can sit together It's so beautiful You and me We meant to be In the great outdoors Forever free Oh, you got issues. But what do we got? So I'm gonna come down. <laughs> Did you mess it up? Talk a big game, can't follow it up. The first one came out perfectly. <laughs> and this one? Still meet in there. From a distance you can tell. What do you think? I thought it was a really good day. <laughs> uh, I guess question and answer time for each other. Yeah. And then maybe someday people will ask us questions and answers in the comments and we can continue on with those. So what do you think of Universal this morning? Uh, well, we stayed in Islands of Adventure today yep. and I thought that everything was really well done as far as COVID is concerned. It felt really safe. Everybody was wearing their masks. People were enforcing it. Um, the social distancing. There's hand sanitizer everywhere. Like when you get on the ride, when you get off the ride. So I thought yeah. it was pretty, like, well done. I agree. It was. Um, it was. I thought well done in you know, and the crowds were low. And this oh, was yeah. a Saturday. Yeah, it was a Saturday. A Saturday. I mean, so. there were some longer waits as we were leaving, like the ride time for... The, the posted ride time. The posted ride time was like 65 minutes for Kong and... Right. So, stuff like that. But the posted ride time for Spider-Man earlier in the day was 20 minutes, and we and waited took, zero. Yeah. Just walking through the queue. Five minutes, maybe. Yeah. And uh, breakfast? We had a three broomsticks. Breakfast was... Do you, like average. I would say it's pretty people. American, pretty average, yeah. and seventeen dollars. Yeah. Each. So I mean, I, you, I thought the portion the... size was good. I had three pancakes and then like two slices of bacon, two sausage links, and a croissant, and a drink, all for eighteen dollars. So I thought the, it was pretty good, but yeah. the food quality is, I would say, like average. You, and you get and the standard. you get the specialty drink. Yeah. And we of were talking we about it. Butterbeer. Yeah, but we were talking about it. If you don't get the specialty drink, if you just get a soda or a water, then you're probably shortchanging yourself there a couple bucks. Maybe. For what it's worth. Did you get the, the butterbeer, the frozen butterbeer, the pumpkin juice was on there. Yeah. But of course, we both ordered the frozen butterbeer because we don't coordinate. <laughs> I'm not sure it's the best. Oh, She's a big that. fan, I'm not. I like the butterbeer. And then uh, let's talk Volcano Bay. <laughs> Volcano Bay round one. So our annual pass gets us in after 12 it does. right now. So we headed over to Volcano Bay, I guess around two o'clock with it closing at six, uh, thinking that maybe some of the day crowd would have left. I think but, it was 1.30 and we, yeah. we went through security. And there was nobody in security, no. but Ooh, we got inside and it was jam-packed. I'm not sure it, what their capacity is and if that is 20 to 30 percent of their capacity, oh boy, I don't want to be there on a regular day. Yeah. But, um... Well, you said, it was funny because you said that if there were 100 chairs on the beach and they were running 30 to 50 percent, let's give them 50 percent, then half, half the chairs would be, be free. 
Uh, none of them no were No chairs free. were empty. And there were lines wrapped around food, ki for, just kiosks. For everything. Pretzels, there were lines. And it wasn't yeah. just exaggerated because of the of social, social distancing. distancing, because there was very little social distancing going on, and nobody wearing masks. And to be fair, it's a water park. Yeah. We knew that going in. This is probably why Disney has not opened their water parks. Yeah. It... So walking around definitely made us feel a little uncomfortable at, at 1 2 o'clock today. Right. Because so it we, was so crowded. So you we couldn't social distance and uh, so yeah, so we left. <laughs> we bailed uh, and we came back to the hotel pool. Which was way back. Yeah, it was so uh, we definitely got in the water and were way more socially distant there. Felt a little safer there and maybe it's just us, but that's what we decided to do for the time. For that time, we got uh, some good... Uh, cocktail service, a little, a little on the slow side, not gonna lie. It was yeah, a little difficult to figure out what was going on. Yeah, but the, um, but the food was good. The food was good. From Drum Club or something like that? Something like that. And the nachos were really good. Hopefully I got a picture of it and you're seeing it right now over us talking. Yeah. Um, but the, yeah, the nachos were good. Couple cocktails. Got to keep yeah. the souvenir glass. They were fifteen bucks a piece. What are you gonna do? You're on vacation, right? Yeah. I mean, ten bucks refillable, but it's not like we go around just sipping frozen daiquiris every day. Why not? We're on vacation. Oh. So then we went back to Volcano Bay at about five p.m. One, well, we one had, hour to we close. We headed over about four thirty. I was super. By the time we got in, it was like five o'clock. I said, "No, I'm done." And you said, "No, let's go over there and see." So. Turned out to be a decent decision. Yeah, it had definitely emptied out since we had been there yeah. at 2 o'clock. Once again, Saturday, a lot of locals still, probably. I mean, still like relatively busy. The only problem with waiting that late, we want, really wanted to ride the Aqua Coaster and all the time yeah. slots for that were gone for the day then by the time we got there at 5. And we did see them trying to let like people waiting in line, but then again, there's a bunch of people waiting in line for the water Aqua yeah. Coaster at the end of the day that weren't wearing masks, yeah. weren't extremely socially distant, yeah. and you're basically at risk of any time them going, nope, sorry, ride's closed, yeah. day over. And we had a few other things we wanted to see. We wanted to, we, we did some slides. We we wanted we to see the Action, action River. River. That which was is, cool. Which is cool. So. That was cool. Um, so, yeah, and then finally tonight, Strong Water dinner it was like a tapas style bar i would say yeah it's it odd really because good. it looks strong water tavern sounds like a it sounds, sounds like, like a, american an american like bar. bar yeah but it definitely had a like caribbean uh, yeah it really, like really did almost spanish tapas kind of feel so yeah. some ropa vieja and um yeah very very caribbean so some shrimp that were really good. Yeah, I thought the food was good. Uh, I thought the food was great. I, I yeah, would, the food was excellent. I uh, thought. Yeah, I thought you know, uh, Bill ended up being around eighty bucks. You got we got three essentially tapas, yeah. two desserts, Fish a couple share. beers, yeah. and it ended up being around eighty bucks. So resort pricing, but yeah. once again, um, good food. Uh, I would, you know, I'd be at maybe a seven out of ten. Yeah, it was really good. I don't think it's anything we're rushing back to. I mean, I think... Yeah. If we were in the hotel again... I think the value was good. <laughs> like, honestly, I, I think instead of... Let me put it this way. We're not running back to Strong Water. We would go try Amatistas next. Yeah. Downstairs. So... But the food was really good. So... We, tomorrow. We leave tomorrow. We leave? We're going well, home? We're going to the parks first, but we check out of the hotel. So we have to pack tonight so we can get ready. But yeah, tomorrow studios and some more Harry Potter World. Really good to. Uh, and then maybe Epcot. Visit. Yeah, maybe we do have a park reservation for Epcot. That's another thing that Disney's doing that Universal's not doing right now. Universal just let's wing it. Just winging it. it. Well, they're they're not winging. They're it, counting guess. people. They're counting people, but they are not taking reservations for the park that Disney is doing. So. I think Disney is definitely capping their attendance. attendance. So we will see how the crowds compare to Disney and Universal Studios. Yeah, be interesting. So, yeah. 
All right, well, we'll catch you tomorrow. Uh, okay. Yeah, have a good night. And, uh, What else should they do? Like and subscribe. Subscribe.